Hello, it's uh, Father David here. Uh, it's been a long time uh, since I've had the opportunity to be with you and to speak with you. And so this is a privilege for me and I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm deeply grateful for your witness, uh, for your uh, faith, and indeed uh, for your love, not only to me over the years I was with you, but uh, indeed uh, for all of the people uh, that you have ministered to. Let me reminisce a bit. The year was 1985. There I was, an administrator in the Franciscan province of the Most Holy Name in New York City. That year, 1985, uh, a few of you came to see me. I remember Murray Gould was one of them and Chris Judy. They asked me as the personnel director of the Friars if we, the Friars of Holy Name Province, would be willing to come and minister in your parish, the parish of St. Francis of Assisi. I said, well, I don't know. Uh, we have a personnel problem here, but uh, I'll talk it over with our provincial. And so I did. Uh, and a few months later, two of us friars visited the parish. We wanted to be vetted by you. And uh, I remember a beautiful moment being interviewed by Mary Morsch and Mary Lynn Cause. We sat in the last row uh, of chairs in what was called the Log Cabin Church. The one thing I remember was that Mary Morsch said to me, you know, we're in charge of this parish. Wow, I thought, that's the kind of ministry uh, we would want, uh, we friars would want to be a part of. Things worked out for us. We had a wonderful, in those days, we had a wonderful bishop, Bishop Joe Gossman. He was a Vatican II bishop and a down-to-earth man, and he was the one who approved our coming uh, to assume the ministry, the leadership ministry, in the parish. Uh, when I visited him once, I said, well, pleased to meet you, Your Excellency. And he said to me, call me Joe. That's my baptismal name, and uh, uh, that's how I want to be it called. And I thought to myself, boy, we can work with this guy. And so it happened. Two of us were assigned to the parish, Bob Hudak and myself. And I remember our first parish-wide meeting I wrote on the blackboard, what does the city need and how can we help? That means we do not exist for ourselves alone. If we hear the cry of the city, if we are people for others, then God will bless us and make us flourish. And so it happened. Over the years up until today, that's who we were and that's who you are. A closing word. I know your new pastor very well, Michael Clay. He's a fine man, a real Vatican II priest. You can't do any better than him. So treat him as you treated me and treated all the friars over the year, and all will be well. And thank you for your Catholic faith, and still keep asking this, the question, what does the city need, and how can we help? God bless you and keep you. God turn his face to you and have mercy on you. God show you his countenance and give you peace. The Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Goodbye now. Let us pray for one another.